Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me today? Good. Come on in. Let's get started. you for today? Well, you heard the other day, I'm calling it Gnome Week, because why not? There are so many fun DIY gnomes out right now that are so easy to do using items that you can get at Dollar Tree right now, pretty much year round, quite honestly. Today's DIY, oh my word, I am so excited about. It's one I think you're absolutely gonna love. So I'm gonna quit my gabbin, let's jump into it, and let's do some gnome Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget. Because why not? Because we can. And gnomes are super trendy right now, so why not jump on the bandwagon? Okay, let's get started. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Next time you're at Dollar Tree, pick up a couple of these gnome plaques. They've got them in a few different styles. This one here has an elevated star that we don't need, so using my scraper tool, I'm going to remove it. Then there on the hat, I'm going to go in with some Mod Podge because what am I going to do when I am applying Mod Podge to a wood plaque like this? Well, Dollar Tree has some really fun fabrics out right now. This sunflower one, I feel like it could work for summer or fall. I'm going to use it for fall because why not? Because I can. I cut a piece just big enough to cover the hat itself where I place the Mod Podge. Once I get it good and in place, I am going to go in with a second coat of Mod Podge, put that over the fabric. This is going to help it to adhere better onto the plaque and it's going to stiffen it up a bit once it dries. But before it dries, while it's wet, I'm going to go in with my scraper tool and right along that edge of the nose and the beard, I'm going to press the fabric up against that crease there really getting it in there good and close. So when this dries, I can cut that off and it's gonna be good and clean. The fabric is good and dry. You can see here that I did use a gloss, not my favorite, but I've got a ton of gloss Mod Podge, so I wanna get rid of it. I'm gonna flip that plaque over and on a cutting mat using a fresh razor blade. I'm gonna use the plaque as my guide and I'm gonna cut off that excess fabric and you'll see that because we did the second coat of Mod Podge, there is no fraying on the fabric and you're gonna get a nice clean cut. Flipping this plaque on over, we need to remove the extra fabric here right along this edge. So because we took that scraper tool, we got that fabric good and in the crease there when we run the razor right along that edge there, you don't want to run it flat, you want to run it sideways so you can get a nice clean cut. Then you can easily just pull that extra fabric up and look at how nice that looks. So for the nose here, I decided I'd go in with some of Craft Smart's Natural Buff. Can I just tell you that Craft Smart has a whole line of skin tone colors, so there is one for everybody. I'm going to start off by doing the nose first because there is a method to my madness. Then I'm going to move on down to the bottom half and I'm going to go on with some classic caramel and this is by Apple Barrel. This is another one of my favorite colors and really I'm just using a color that coordinates with the fabric. So because this is a versatile piece, depending on what fabric you use, is going to be dependent on what colors you use. Yeah, get creative, make it your own. That's what I say. I love versatile pieces like this. You're gonna need some caulking. This is a caulking you can get at Dollar Tree by Tool Bench. That caulking, it works great for texture and dimension. And would you look at how cool it looks as you apply it by using the dabbing method. I am all about adding texture and dimension to DIYs. I'm not the greatest when it comes to painting, being an artist in that aspect. So if you are and you can paint this beard and you can do the shadowing and all that fun stuff, I say do it. But I always try to look for alternatives that are going to give me that, I guess, extra look, really finish off the project, elevating it to another level. And you can do that using caulking. Caulking does take a bit of time to dry. I would say about three or four hours. So maybe do this at night, go to bed, and when you wake up, it's going to be good and dry. If you want to hang this plaque, you can do that. Just add a hanger to the back. 
I want this plaque to stand because I'm going to put it on an end table or in my entertainment center. So to do that, just by using a couple of Jenga blocks, and you're going to want to use a couple because one, it's not going to stand. It'll be front heavy. So add two, then it'll be back heavy and it'll stand just right. To the front of this, I dug into my stash of burlap flowers. These are burlap flowers that you can find at Dollar Tree now. They come in a multi-pack of white and uh, this natural burlap color, and I figured this would be perfect for the hat. The nose, I wanna add just a bit of color to it, so using an oil pastel and a stiffer paintbrush, you can easily achieve that and get that soft blended clouded look. Let's take a look. How stinking cute is this? And it was easy to do. Next up, using this plaque again, we're gonna go a bit of a different route so I can show you just how many different ways you can DIY these. I'm gonna start off by giving the beard a good coating with some white chalk paint. This is just a base coat. You only need one, you don't need two. For the bottom half of this one, I am gonna go in with some of Hello Hobbies Yellow. I had some of this mop left over from my previous gnome DIYs. What's great about these, you can easily pull the strands out. So that's what I'm going to do. Once I pull the strands out, I am going to fold it in half and cut it because we don't need it as long as it is. Once I've got it cut, I'm then going to hot glue it. I want to say about three quarters up onto my gnome hat, just like so. And I'm only going to glue it where the hat is and I'm going to let the rest kind of hang freely below the hat itself. When I do this, I am going to place about two to three rows of the mop strands onto this plaque. So you will be left with something that looks like this. That first row is completely glued down and you won't be able to unravel it. So that's why I added additional rows and it's gonna add to the fullness and thickness of the beard. These strands, mop strands, are pretty easy to unravel. It's a little bit time consuming, I'm not gonna lie, but the outcome is well worth the work. Look at how cool this beard looks. Unraveling those mop strands give it such a fun wavy look. Now I'm gonna go in with some scissors and these were dull scissors. Take my advice now, make sure you have some really good scissors on hand to cut through this mop. And I'm gonna shape this beard, give it a trimming, and I'm gonna shape it enough so the bottom half of the gnome shows. But I, again, like I said, I wanted to add some shape to it because shape is gonna add personality. I am, I'm using what I have, and because I had so much of this fabric left over, I'm using what I have, and because I love it so much, there is a theme to this fall's gnome DIYs, and it is this sunflower fabric here. I cut a piece big enough to make a gnome hat, so going down about halfway, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue that fabric to the front of the beard there, just like so, then just kind of flip it over, fold it in, glue it to make a hat. There's no real technique to this, just kind of work with it because once you get it all glued on, you're gonna go up to the top here and just tie a bit of it off with some twine. I am tying it off right at the top of the plaque itself and I am going to leave some of that extra fabric there at the top hanging because I feel like once it's bent over, it's gonna really add to the look of this gnome hat. Because why not? Because we can. Yes, this definitely needs to be finished off with one of my twine bows here at the top. But wait a minute, we are not done because there is some more detailing that needs to be added to this adorable fall gnome. By adding some burlap ribbon to the edge of this hat, it is going to finish it off nicely. Oh yes, yes, it's those fine details. One of Dollar Tree's wood beads by Crafter Square is gonna work perfect for the gnome nose. You're gonna wanna use one of the larger ones and just by hot gluing it right there in the center in between the strands of this gnome beard, look at how stinking cute that is. I'm also gonna add one of these sunflowers that Dollar Tree also has right now to the hat. On the back side, because I had one gnome standing up, I need two. So I'm gonna use those Jenga blocks again on the back side to help stand this plaque up. 
let's go take a look at this. I gotta say it, I'm obsessed. I love these gnome plaques. Let's make one more. For this one, you're gonna wanna stop by the Halloween section now, pick up the ghost and the hat ornaments. Yeah, you're getting about eight of these, so you're gonna get eight of this DIY. To this hat, I'm gonna give it a good coating up some Mod Podge, because what am I gonna cover this hat with? Of course I am, this sunflower fabric. Once that fabric is dry on the back side of the hat, I'm gonna put a good sum of hot glue and I'm gonna place this hat right over the top of that ghost, right? You're seeing it. Isn't this so sticky cute? Genius. I love this. And because these ornaments come in an eight pack, you're gonna get eight of this DIY. Using a wood bead, a medium sized one, that's what I'm gonna use for the nose. Painting the nose isn't a must, but since I had that Craft Smart paint out, I figured I'd give the nose a good coating of some paint. Then go in again with some of the caulking and add that to the beard. Yes, texture, remember? Texture, personality, character, elevates the DIY. Yeah, this DIY, it's already almost done. Add a little pink to the nose. And these mini sunflowers are perfect for these ornaments. Oh my goodness. What's great about these DIYs is just by changing up the fabric, you can make it for any holiday or season. If you wanna decorate your tree with these, you totally can. These ornament packs come with twine hangers already, so I'm just gonna utilize those here on the back. And there we have made an adorable gnome ornament. Add some Christmas fabric to it and decorate your tree with it. I love these for fall. Look at how stinking cute this is. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Raina, who's bringing to us her DIY using spray foam. Raina, I am loving how you utilize this with the pumpkin wreath forms. Thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, Submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. How fun were these? Love gnomes. If you're not a gnome person, come on, do them. They would make for great gift ideas for this holiday season. They're quick, they're easy, they're budget friendly, and they have an outcome that is adorable. And quite honestly, really, who doesn't love a cute gnome? I know I do now. I hope you all enjoyed today's gnome DIYs. If you're looking for more inspiration, DIY inspiration, not just gnomes, any, well, guess what? You can click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy. And most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I am.